Gun violence has increased about 60% in the U.S. and the U.S. legislation should do something immediately. The federal government needs to create stricter laws on gun control to lower the crime. One of the laws that should be enforced to prevent a death, death is training and accessing every person who decides to own a firearm. And the federal government and the U.S. legislation should consider getting stricter laws on firearms being owned per person. Having strict gun control laws can lower the risks of crime happening. Guns on the street make us less safe. For every justifiable handgun homicide, there are more than 50 handgun murders, according to the FBI. It is as if almost every day there is a homicide happening in the U.S. It seems once a person gets his hands on a gun, he feels unstoppable. For example, a robber who felt unstoppable when he killed a cashier at a gas station his main motive was to accomplish his goal even if it meant taking someone's life. This incident could have been prevented if the robber would have had some kind of restriction in carrying an unconcealed gun or if the gas station clerk could have had a concealed gun to use for self-defense. Some people believe having a gun at their bedside will make them feel safer. They are wrong. Having gun control laws can prevent accidental gun deaths. Guns kept in the home for self-protection are 43 times more likely to kill a family member, friend, or acquaintance than to kill an intruder, according to a study published in the New English Journal of Medicine. An alternative to prevent accidental gun deaths could be creating more restriction on privately owned guns. An excellent restriction could be having legal raids in the neighborhood homes to check that privately owned guns are approximately purchased and kept in secure locked places. This would help minimize the illegal purchase of arms and prevent accidental deaths in homes. A secure mindset is what people want when it comes to creating stricter gun control laws. These laws will help ensure people that the accessibility of a gun will be limited. Knowing that people will be held accountable of registering privately owned guns this will make them feel somewhat safer because there will be more restrictions in owning a gun. They will also have more secure and clear understanding on how to own a firearm. The unsuccessful gun control laws we have today are the cause of the increased crime in today's society. For example, Sandy Hook Elementary gun down incident, the Fort Gun Control, Delaware mayor arrested for gun incident, and the Roy City woman shot by her husband or tragedy that could have been prevented. The federal government needs to achieve better gun restriction laws before more crime scenes are added to the list.